Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I'm back to share our completed project which is Birdwatcher from Graphic 45 and I'm pretty happy uh, with the results and I think you guys will be too. So I'm going to point out some of the details here. I did do a cover, um, a cover only embellishment video. Um, I was going to add it to the cover and adding the pages, but it got too long. So it's pretty detailed. You might not be up for it and just want to look at this. But I do go over adding all the flowers and this, the um, metal embellishments. Uh, I didn't do the ribbon. I added that afterwards. But some die cuts, chipboard, cut apart, both the... Um, filigree corners and then here I added from my stash a little bird cage and a flower more roses and some ribbon and if you buy the bundle from us that ribbon comes with it and while supplies last this is one of the um, charms that come and so is this flower not the bird cage it's from a previous collection um, it does come with some additional charms you get, um, oh, and I also didn't point out the bird here. So the bird comes with that too. These are additional charms that come with the collection. And of course you get filigree corners, both the large and the small. So that is the charm pack pretty much that comes with, of course, while supplies last. Um, with the bird collection. So let's go over the cover. So right here tucked behind these roses is a cut apart uh, from one of the floral pages and I honestly can't tell you which one but I can tell you it's a 12 by 12 because it's a large flower and so is this. So both of these are from 12 by 12 collection pack. It might even be from the cover but I'm not positive. Here is an ephemera card, the large ephemera card. And again, we have a charm here. And I broke off the little loop that holds it to a chain just because I wanted to use it independently. We have two charms here. Graphic 45 roses. The light colored roses come from the ivory and linen pack. And of course the red comes from the red. I had leftovers from two packs and I combined them. So it worked out perfectly. The ribbon is from uh, the ribbon that's applied with um, the bundle if you buy it from us. These two are cut aparts that come from the signature page of the 12 by 12 and they're cardstock backed and again backed again both of the all three of these with um, leftover chipboard and it's the same chipboard that I use to actually make uh, the cover of the spine in the back. So I always save all my bits and use them throughout the album. And here's the spine. I meant to embellish that, but time got away from me. In the back, we see we've got this die cut. This is a die cut. This is a sticker. And then these two are cut apart from one of the uh, 12 by 12 collection pages. I just thought that made a nice little spray there. I kept everything flat and just glued it directly to the back. I didn't want to add a lot of dimension since this is the back and most of the time that's the way the album rests. If not that way, this way. But I didn't want to put a lot of dimension on it since especially we have a lot of dimension here. So back to this floral array, I forgot to mention these two pieces are cut aparts from the collection and then these are die cuts just tucked in. I think they look lovely. This is also a cut apart. From one of the pages. I deliberately left these very simple because I had imagined that you would put a photo array here. Maybe um, a 4 by 6 and a 3 by 4 or multiples. Page 1. So here is what was a large ephemera card and I and I stuck it in the die for graphic 45 and it worked out perfectly. I was able to get all the words and most of the image. So this die or this tag is not quite four by six in height and width. Um, so you can use your um, ephemera cards 
to um, finish these off and I think that looked good. I made this as a photo insert and I really like the way it looks and I can really imagine photos here but when I had finished this page that's what I had and I thought well that's pretty boring <laughs> which is what caused me to create this. So I'm happy with both. Um, I do like that there's a ton of photo space here and also on the back and by the way there's probably enough to cover the back but I was running short of time. I'm a little bit late on my projects. So here's the inside. I think this is beautiful and easy to imagine photos here, which is part of the reason why I use such simple patterns on the inside so that you can imagine all your photos here. And even if you have trouble with imagining a photo there, um, you could easily put something there. This is a little bit small, but imagine a photo here and then photos here. I love this. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. It's the signature page of the collection. Okay, this is necessary because it is what keeps page 1 and page 8 closed and magnet free. Each page has an insert and I used from the 12x12 collection pack a strip of the stamps as the border for each one of the pages and I think that's beautiful. There's probably enough paper. I'm pretty sure there's enough paper to cover at least one side of the insert. Okay, two cut aparts. And this is, I went through this once before, but I'm pretty sure it's for some, one of the ephemera cards that has stamps on it. Uh, that's so frustrating to me. Anyways, it's a cut apart. If it's not from, the um, ephemera cards, it's from the 12 by 12 signature page, and I'm not sure which. I've gone through that twice and I still can't figure it out. Anyways, they're cut apart. Um, this is a up flap secured by a magnet, and then this is a down flap, also secured by a magnet. So there you go, page two. Page three, this is an ephemera card backed with cardstock and then again backed with designer paper and additional cardstock. And I just thought it looked beautiful. I had finished the page and I was just looking at it without this and it was too plain, so I went ahead and added that. On the inside, I have the feather pattern here and on the bottom. And then there is a pocket, which can hold a lot of photos. It's also, you could place a photo here, which is about a four by six. Okay, another insert with the stamps. These stamps, I love when they put stamps in the collection. They're so easy to embellish with, as you can see. <laughs> and then here is page four and five, and they're mirror images of each other. And here, again, I use those stamps, small and large, and then two small ephemera cards on each side to embellish the small flap on page four and five. Okay, these flaps open, so you can see there's tons of room for photo. And then this opens again, and there's those lovely stamps. These stamps are from the eight by eight collection. So they're a smaller scale, but I want you to notice this detail, which I was so pleased with. The stamps, fit perfectly. I did not have to trim through a stamp, which I hate. I hate it when I have to cut through a stamp. It's just, to me, so obvious. So I, I don't use them unless I can use them in their entirety, either one whole stamp or a page of stamps. Anyways, I think that turned out perfect and I love it. Oh, and I didn't share with you. These have pockets which I haven't had time to, <laughs> to put ephemera in, but there's pockets on both sides. Another large photo mat. And then this page, when I was building it, I did not have these elements. I added them. When I started flipping through the pages and looking at them side by side, I thought this page looked too plain. So I added a small photo mat and a chipboard piece. Here are the stamps from the 12 by 12 collection pack, so they're larger. And then you also have another large pocket in here. And here is a beautiful front and back of a large ephemera card. 
This is a small ephemera card backed with cardstock. It opens up, beautiful, and then down. So it's really easy to imagine your photos here. Like I said, this is about a four by six, so a slightly scaled down four by six would fit beautifully behind this panel so it doesn't have to stick out past the um, stamp de detail. Another large photo mat. And then here's page eight. I did the same thing as I did with page one. I added um, a graphic 45 tag. These are two stamps that I cut apart from the 12 by 12 collection pack and just added a banner down here. And it was the same thing. I saw this and it was just so busy that I thought this calmed it down just a little bit. So we have that. This is from the eight by eight collection pack. And then I love this. It's from the eight by eight collection pack and this. So that is the Bird Watcher mini album, which is eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half, which is one of my standard sizes. So if you're interested in this, all of the tutorials are available for you to build one of your own. So go to Scrap and Create on YouTube and search in the playlist for Bird Watcher and you'll find all the tutorials associated with this project. Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. See you soon.